Joining me now is John McKnight, he's a partner at Spo and Fisher uh, to talk about patterns and uh, some of those things. John, thanks for your time. I never tire of being educated about the fourth industrial revolution. So perhaps before we begin and talk about patents and intellectual property in it, just a quick definition of what it is Well, um, and how we got here. Yes, indeed. So the fourth industrial revolution is, of course, the fourth uh, rev uh, revolution relating to technology that uh, humankind has enjoyed. The first one, the first industrial revolution, began in about 1760, and that related to um, when the United Kingdom and Europe moved from an agrarian society to an industrial society. So that was the ad advent of steam technology, right. and that uh, 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 led to the iron and textile industries. And so there were, there were massive advantages which were offered to the United Kingdom and countries which participated in that first industrial revolution. Mm -hmm. The second industrial revolution took part in the late 1800s, and that was when we sort of iterated that existing technology and then we moved into electricity, uh, the internal combustion engine, right. flight, motor vehicles, um, telephony, the, t the invention of the telephone. And that ended at about 1914, the beginning of the First World War. The third industrial revolution was the digitization which began in the 1980s. Mm -hmm. And that brought us the internet, the personal computer, mm -hmm. and mobile telephony. This floor and wall of information that we take for granted today. Absolutely. But it's only been with us for about 30 or 35 years or so. That's we actually think it's been with us for life. It's <laughs> Even people like me. <laughs> <laughs> Time flies. It does. So the fourth industrial revolution is an iteration of the third industrial revolution where we take these technologies and we fuse them with our modern life. So this gives us rise to things like robotics, blockchain technology, cryptocurrency, which has been in the news a lot, artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, autonomous vehicles, mm. and the Internet of Things, right. whereby machines communicate with each other to get things done. Now, if there's one learning from industrial revolutions is yeah. that you have to be in it to win it. Right. Countries and regions which participated in industrial um, revolutions scored massive advantage over yeah. their competitors. Mm -hmm. If you snooze, you lose. Sure. It is madness not to take part in an industrial revolution because that is the way forward. That but is I suppose the, the, the other thing is that uh, how do you participate? You participate, participate as a consumer, but you also participate as a player. That's Where are we as South Africa and as Africa? That's correct. So as a consumer of intellectual property, um, Africa has, has been on the up for the last decade or so. I think this has been due to uh, improved governance, Im improved fiscal discipline. This has given rise to the middle class, and this has given rise to consumption. Mm -hmm. And so as a result, um, intellectual property has moved from being pharmaceutically and mining based. Yeah. We're now moving into brands. We're now moving into consumer goods. Right. So Africa as a consumer of yeah. intellectual property has been on the increase for sure. the last decade. Right. When you consume intellectual property, you create intellectual property. Are so we create? So Africa is poised to have a much greater contribution to the IP platform than we have had for some time. But are, are we currently a contributor? Yes. And particularly in South Africa. How? Let me give you an example. There is an insurance company, or there are a number of insurance companies now, which allow you to fit um, an, an instrument into your vehicle which will feed back information in real time, such that the speed that you're going, whether you're complying with, with laws, but also whether you've had an accident, whether you're in danger, whether you're in an area that you shouldn't yes, be. Yes, yeah. That is the definition of the fourth industrial revolution. Oh. That is the internet of things. Except we don't think about it like that. We just think the insurance companies are being clever by protecting <laughs> their stuff. Indeed. <laughs> But we all benefit from it. And this is the idea behind an industrial revolution. The, uh, our, our, um, our, our system of living improves. Right. Our standard of living improves as a result of these technologies. I've been told I've got a minute. And I wanted to ask you, uh, in terms of our participation, do we have the regulatory environments that enable the growth of uh, intellectual property development and uh, therefore participation in this fourth industrial revolution. Absolutely. South Africa has very strong intellectual property laws which are harmonized globally. Uh, and at the African continent has good intellectual property laws as well. Not only insofar as protection, but also uh, enforcement against infringement and, and uh, third party taking advantage of emerging technologies. Mm -hmm. So the answer is yes, we do have uh, protection regarding patents, trademarks, copyright, Inter, um, registered designs, and of course, our law even protects confidential information or Absolutely. trade secrets. What, do, what, what, what does it say about, though, about the case of, I don't know if you are aware of it, of Zara and uh, Duma? Uh, does that give confidence that we have got the systems that will be able to take care of us should we get into trouble, or should big, big players come from outside and try to bully us here? 
We definitely had the legal framework which will address the Zara situation. Um, I, was, uh, I was fortunate enough to, to hear an interview by Laduma, who is the creator of the copyright in question, and he said that this is not the first time he's had to deal with copyright issues in oh. his, with the work that he's done, and they have, up until this point, been successfully resolved in terms of South African okay. law. So we definitely have the framework to deal with that particular situation. Absolutely.